Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Now let's dive into the matter. Okay, it's like you have an issue. You're uncomfortable. What issue? Hey, I, I'm a star maker. I'm a, like, what's my business with you? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a review of the episode 2, the part 2 of the reunion of the real housewife of Lagos. For this um, part, I loved um, Caroline's expression almost throughout the um, episode. No, no, I said you say that. that that's not something not. me to say. Anything. That's something me to say. Do that. Do that. The, the episode started with um, the issue of Toyi and Chama's competition. competition, the issue. Um, Ch Choma explained that she appreciates Tony's art and her use of crayon. <laughs> she mentioned the crayon, but that their style is different, that her style is different from Tony. Like, you know, artists, like I would never wear crayons, for instance, but I can appreciate the fact that she finds the art in it and she can create that. I'm not. And she doesn't know why Tony is being competitive. And Tony said that Choma is. Come, Choma comes late to show off that she does it purposely, which I think is a lie because Choma um, dresses wear. Then um, Tony actually explains that her personal style is different from how she dresses, that she can actually dress everyone there, but when it comes to hers, her own sense of fashion, she does avant-garde, that she's a star maker and all that. That um, by Choma calling her this in outfit crayon, that Choma is talking down on her brand. Just saying that I felt like she was watering down my brand because my brand is my life's work. I've had issues with going to eat at a place and I ate bad bad meat. And then she may also mentioned that she has eaten bad bad meat from Choma's place of business. That's the brass and copper. For me, I just feel that these ladies they are just being um, petty, very very petty. Because for Tony to mention um, eating bad meats from Choma's place of business, she's also trying to water down her brand and all that. That's just what I got from this part. They had a back and forth which you said Choma was interfering. You know Your issue is you want to talk, 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 and you don't want people to talk or to express themselves because you feel you know how to speak English. But she has actually been doing the same thing, even from the Part one of the Real Housewife of Lagos reunion, she did exactly same thing. She was always interjecting in pe when people were trying to talk. So it became a back and forth issue. Why they were trying to over talk each other? Then Marian tried to stop them, which I really appreciate. But they stopped for like five seconds and they continued. You're the one very, that's very evil. evil. And everyone can see how jealous and competitive you are. Why am I jealous? Focus on your jealous focus. Go and continue pressing jealous crayons. Focus what? on your focus. I'm wishing you well. Jealous of what? So she left. She was When she was even leaving, she was like, let's go and smoke her cigar. Then, Uti. Then Uti left to call her. For what? Should I come and bring you back? For what? I can bring you back myself. The camera doesn't lie. You showed yourself. I don't need to prove anything. I showed anything. myself. Showed myself that what? I don't need to prove anything. Just showed myself. When they showed snippets of the fight between um, Tony and Choma, people were like, where was Uti the host when the fight happened? I think it was why he went to call out Marian that the fight happened. So, why he left, Choma was like, Tony had a complex issue. As soon as she just said that Tony had a complex issue, that was how Tony stood up. No, no. Why are you having a complex? My dear, I think I'm better than you. I think I'm better Chama, than you. I don't. I think I'm better than you. Watch your complex. I, I do not better than you. Don't ah. try me. And that was when the issue that was hundred. Should I say hundred? Issue that was thirty percent just went from thirty to one thousand immediately. Like for me, the fight wasn't necessary. Tony trying to hit. Choma was not necessary. Choma sat down and they argued the thing. And that was what Tony would have done. I don't know what it is with this housewife and housewives and exchanging blue. Like someone can sue you for hurting them. You don't need to. The issue is not that deep. For me, even Choma made a statement that Caroline finished her and she could not do anything. That why is it Hannah that she wants to fight with? And me, I understood that part because Caroline said worse things than Choma, but she just wanted to show her strengths. Um, in the as it came to, she just wanted to show her strengths with um Choma, and for me, it was just an issue of transferred ag aggression because the issue wasn't that deep. And I enjoyed Caroline's reaction. <laughs> For me, her reaction was everything in it. 
So after the fight, as in the fight was so long, it was like a movie. They had to take a two hours break. I think they were begging Tony to come back to set. Then after that, the Caroline and trauma issue was addressed. They showed um their friendship through her throughout the show. It was replayed. And um the friendship was actually sweet and um Uti wanted to know how it deteriorated to that level. But they didn't really waste time on that. Then the Dubai trip was addressed and um Uti addressed um Caroline's bracelet that she misplaced and she apo- and he apologized for it. She was like she didn't get the bracelet back. Then the And then Caroline, did we ever find that bracelet? No, I sent emails. Oh, um, so the production sorry. sent emails as well. It wasn't found, unfortunately. The issue of ignoring Laura too was brought up, and Iabo explains explains um, how he got to that, and Laura took all, all, all that was said in and even laughed about it. Then the, they brought up the gift issue. And Caroline said that she was really sorry and she actually meant the gift that she was really sorry and she, the gift that she gave to Yabo was from a good place. But Yabo was like, she was angry and she needed space that even if you bring Mansha, it doesn't stop the fact that you made her angry and she needed her time to carry it in her mind for for as long as she wants before you said to. Then um Caroline after this part, Maria was like she has a gift for Caroline. But when they were talking about this gift issue, so um before as soon as she brought the gifts, Caroline was like she, maybe she, that she knows that she's returning the gifts that she gave to her. For me, what um Maria and Didier was actually petty. There was no really reason for this, like returning the gift that she gave to you. At least if you wanted to return it, at least you'd have returned it before then. And Marian actually gave her reason for that. According to her, she said um Caroline said she was doing jazz and using people's star. And I think she got that from Choma. And Choma actually explained where it came from, but Caroline <laughs> interjected saying that she was a liar. For me, I actually believe that Caroline said all those things, but she was actually saying it to a friend. She was actually saying it to a friend. So, you know when friends discuss, now they can actually say things, but she didn't expect that it to come out. But me, I actually don't blame Choma. I blame her to an extent, but I actually don't blame her because Caroline, she's someone that if you quarrel with her, she brings out all what you guys have said. So I actually don't bl- blame Choma for... Telling um, Mary and what um, Caroline said about them. Then it was a crazy back and forth issue. Then Uti was like, what will it take for them to mend the friendship? But guys, it won't work. Oh. Choma, I think Choma is ready to, if according to her, if Caroline stops the lie. But Caroline was like, it can't work, that like, it's over. That if she wants to say something, she says it to the person's face. That she did not say all that and it's actually over. What you know what? When I say things behind you, I say it in front of you. I'm done with the friendship. Then Uti asks Laura if she feels redeemed with everything. She was like, yes, that she feels redeemed. That- I- so you feel so, redeemed? Yeah, and I wasn't even there when they were fighting. So yeah, I, I feel very, very, very redeemed. <laughs> Okay, so it was time for reconciliation. Uh, no one actually reconciled. They just said um, what they were currently doing. It was mainly about business, and they gave it toast to season two. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification button. And if you actually have any uh, opinion, you can actually comment about it. Bye, guys.